What up, y'all? It is DJ Barbecue. Many of you guys out there have asked me for more burger recipes and more fish recipes. So I've combined the two to do this super rad tuna burger. And these things are gonna be so awesome. We're gonna rock some amazing flavors with our tuna. A coriander, spring onion, some lime zest, and some chilies. And then we're gonna finish it all off with a sweet, sticky soy sauce. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna kick it off with my five second cucumber pickle. Watch this. Cucumbers, rice, wine, vinegar, sugar, salt. Whisk it all up. Let's leave that to pickle. Whew. If that was too quick for you cats, you can get all the details in the box below. And now we deal with the burger. I'm gonna definitely DC this chili because there's someone in this room who's a wuss bag and doesn't like hot food. We're gonna do a lot of the chopping in this bad boy here. Get the chili in there. Three spring onions. You guys join your chili brethren in there. And then our good friend, coriander. I actually wanna save the leaves for later to top the burger. Just give these guys a rough chop. Now I want this kind of finely chopped, so I'm gonna give it a quick blitz before I add the tuna. Here we go. For four tuna burgers, you're gonna need about 600 grams of tuna and make sure you buy the best you can afford from a sustainable source. So this big old hunk of tuna goes into this bad boy and then I'm gonna grab a bit of pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt yet because at the end of the grilling process, I'm gonna glaze this bad boy with a sweet, syrupy, thick uh, soy sauce, which has got natural salts in it. So now I wanna chunk it up. Let's chunk, chunk, chunk it up. Hit some lime zest in there. I'm gonna make it rain lime. One more time. Get the flavors to rock. So there is exactly what I want it to look like. That's the kind of texture and all those flavors are in there, like the tuna, the coriander, and the spring onion. And now we start making our patties. Dump all the tuna here. We're gonna now make four rad patties. So we're gonna section them all off so it's all kind of the same size. Just like you would make a normal beef burger. Just gonna make yourself a nice, fat tuna burger. I'm gonna hit the fast forward button while I make some burgers. Here we go. We're gonna quit moving it. Would you stop it? All right, so I got these four beautiful uh, tuna burgers. I'm gonna throw them in the fridge to firm up for about half an hour. Now let's make our dressing. So we're gonna grab 100 milliliters of yogurt. And then we got this uh, sweet chili sauce. Say it with me. Chili sauce. We're gonna go with it tablespoon of this stuff. Remember that lime that we zested into the tuna burgers? So now we're gonna add the juice of half a lime. Let me give it a nice little stir. All right, that is gonna set that burger off. So we got our dressing, we've got our cucumbers pickling, we've got the tuna burgers in there. I'm gonna get the grill fired up. Oh man, these guys are looking good. We're gonna brush on some groundnut oil because they can handle the heat. There we go, get that on there. But we're not going to put the oil in the pan, we're gonna put the oil on the burgers. All right guys, you ready? Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah. And look at this, we're gonna get these bar marks rocking. You can see it turning white there, I mean it's all nicely cooked and that means it is time to flip. Now these guys are almost done. I got one more layer of flavor, and that is this sweet, syrupy, thick soy sauce. We're gonna brush this bad boy on. It's like kind of like an, an Asian barbecue sauce. Now you put it on towards the end because there's sugar in there, and that sugar will burn. So you wanna hit these guys on both sides to get that awesome flavor rocking. Okay, so get your burgers off. Smells amazing. And now we're gonna toast our buns, man, into the pan. And we kinda wanna make a little protective layer so all those flavors just hang out. Coriander cilantro leaves, throw them in to the pickle. And then we've also got some Thai basil. And these guys are good. All right, so now the base layer. Get a bit of that onto the bun. Not too much, you don't wanna overpower this awesome burger. Get them on there. 
We got some gem lettuce, and then our pickled cucumbers. You make friends with this burger, okay? Goodness gracious, look at these. You're salivating, right? <laughs> I am, man. Oh, that looks so good. Now, guys, I have adapted that recipe from one of Jamie's uh, from jamieoliver.com. If you want to see that recipe, click on the link below. And if you want to see more of my stuff, just click on the DJ Barbecue button over there. And if you haven't subscribed to FoodTube, hit that button over there. All right, I, I, I got to eat this thing. Thanks for watching. I'm DJ Barbecue, and you guys are awesome. Comment below, what do you want me to cook, man? You guys told me to do burgers and seafood. I put them together. What else do you want to see? Comment below. Oh, man. I cannot wait. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. That's the best thing I've ever made. Mmm. There's some right there. <laughs> I'm saving that for later. <laughs>